and then they can find a way to transform the cassava into something else the students are supposed to pick up such things and find ways and solutions to help this community so that's what the transform my so this is just like um probably um, um a volunteer staff to help the community okay which volunteering is also very important especially when you want to do masters and stuff you, you know your ability to show what you have volunteered or you know giving time for volunteership is also um part of some of the requirements sometimes and it helps you so that's what you people are trying to promote with this program okay so we want to promote people volunt students to volunteer and students to also go into more setting up their own thing so at least this will guide them in using you know one stone to kill two birds <laughs> definitely so that's what transform my community is about and then also we have the um, e-hub so the e-hub takes care of internship it takes care of part-time jobs it takes care of all these are all these things that has to do with career so what the e-hub does is that students are supposed to sign up or register or even just walk into the center and talk to someone and tell the anybody at the center that you want a part-time job or you want an internship or you want national service placement and then we also because we also have some companies also coming here to tell us that we want they want people for part-time jobs or internship or any of those things so when you sign up when any companies come over here we put your details out to them but usually what we do is that we give it to students we've trained so students who have gone through our career development class just because we want to provide professional people to these organizations yeah. and also you shouldn't disgrace yourself you know? yes yeah. we, can't, we can't just take anybody there because our name is at stake and if we are able to provide the companies are happy with the people we've given them they will always come back that is why we look out for our people who have attended the career development in the prof the leadership academy class so all students should try and attend this class because you can take it at any level this class you can take it when you're level 100 you can take it in 200 300 or even 400 and also i had a um, lot of big companies you know because i heard of good massage and everything like that so what are some of the who are some of the companies or what companies so we work with um bank of america they come in every year to take some students for internship we also have companies like mtn coming for internship we have airtel also coming for internship we have we have hmm, ghana home loans we have yes we have a whole lot of companies and every year we get new companies also coming to join so this year's career fair we have Deloitte, we have Talu, we have Barclays, we have Access Bank, we have a whole lot of companies that can cater for all students. So we really want a lot of students to come for our career week program just professionally. Yes. So um, how about we, I think we've left um, the relationship aspects part, what are the counselors here? Do they counsel on relationships? Because that's also a very important aspect of our lives as students. So I want to know more about it, what you have to do about our personal lives and our personal development. Okay, so then, as the name says, so I've spoken a lot about the career part. So now we also have the counseling part. So the counseling, we have professionals over here. We have clinical psychologists. We have a pastoral counselor. We have a career counselor, we have a counselor, we have a psychiatrist, and then as I said earlier on, a psychometrician over here. And these people are here to help students with their academics, with their relationship, with their family matters, and even personal psychological problem. We have people here who can help them with all these things. So if a student comes in here, and has maybe a relationship problem we know who to direct you to and then we have if you have um, a psychological problem we know who to direct you to so for the counselors we have 
they, they are here all the time but we also have outside counselors also coming in so on wednesdays we have dr sefa dede who's a clinical psychologist she comes here on wednesdays to see students what time she comes at 12 o'clock 12 to she stays to the last student's goals and then we have dr tindambela who comes on mondays and fridays to yes, also he's also a clinical psychologist to also see students and then we have the psychiatrist who comes only on Wednesdays and he also comes after 12 o'clock to see his students but also if you if you need to see any of the side if you need to see a psychiatrist or you need to see a clinical psychologist you can still come any day because we have a resident psych clinical psychologist over here who is he always around to see students and then we can always get to a psychiatrist if you need to also see a psychiatrist and then we have a counselor we have a pastoral counselor even though we have a pastoral counselor we are not biased to any religion. Any religion can walk in here and we know who we can direct your problems to. So that's that's with the counseling. Okay, um, I think a lot of people have, you know, coming come in here to come and see maybe a psychiatrist, maybe people who think that hey, maybe not all is right. You know the um, the kind of stereotype that is attached to coming to see um, a psychiatrist and all. How are you dealing with that? And um how students how are students assured that maybe they are not it's not going to be out there that they came here to come and see maybe a psychiatrist and maybe so probably not all is well up there and stuff like that okay so at the center we deal with confidentiality everything we do here is confidential we don't go around telling people about your problems and I'm sure when you walk into the center, because we also do career things here, when you're working here, nobody's going to think that you're coming to see a clinical psychologist, you're coming to see a psychiatrist. You never know, someone might think you're even coming to take an attachment letter or you're coming for career. That is why we have the careers and counseling center together. And when you walk in here and you come to, you ask to see a clinical psychologist, nobody's going to look at you in a different way because we all have issues we, we all have to see a counselor once in a while to just make us sane and stable because we can see a counselor just for academics it doesn't have to we we don't always see a counselor or a clinical psychologist or a psychologist because we have um, a psychological problem you can always see them for relationship problems you can always see them for career problems you can always see them for academic problems so that's what we do here and we have all these people here to always help students and usually we realize that some students can't speak to older people they like to speak to their peers so we have something called the peer counseling training so the, for the peer counseling we train students and that's done at the beginning of the academic year so that's done at the first semester we take students, we train them through some basic counseling. So something like a first aid counseling. So if a student doesn't want to see any of our people, we can direct you or you can be directed to a peer counselor, maybe someone who is of who is the same age of you and you can talk to the person. When the person is not able to handle your problem, that's when the person can transfer you to or refer you to any of these people who can help out with that so i think that's all about it or is there any other thing that maybe you would like to talk about um yeah we also have with the counseling we also have something called the mental health day so for the mental health day it's just a day to just make an awareness make people aware of some problems that has to do with mental health but when we say mental health mental health goes way beyond just the mad person walking around sometimes relationship issues can can affect you some other things can also affect your mental stability so we are entreating students that when we say mental health mental health today they should not think that oh it's only for those who are, have a psychological problem that should attend such programs we open it up anybody can attend such programs you never know a program like that can help you one day